G -g 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 Greetings, Internet. How was that for an intro? Yeah, you know, just sometimes whatever comes out of your mouth is whatever comes out of your mouth. Unquiet hands. Speaking of what comes out of your mouth, let's be unquiet. Uh, unquiet hands. So, good old Tom Lene. Always takes care of me. Such a good guy. I love that guy. Kisses right off the bat. So, he sent me the sage. And... It's, you know, I feel like every time I do a review, I'm like, ah, we'll be a little all over the place. We'll probably be a little all over the place with this one. But um, specifically, um, you know, when he sent me this, um, you know, we chat a little bit and he knows that I'm a fan of mirror polishes. Um, but I'd seen some pictures going out there of the fine stone wash that he does and I never got my hands on it and really wanted to try it. So he sent me a sage and he sent it to me in... Oof, a fine stone wash. So here it is. Now, before we get into all that, let's just take a look at the pouch. Really dig this pouch. Um, their pouches are really quality. I love like the thick wool look. I got some, I've been carrying it, so I got pocket lint on it. Um, attaches to pocket lint. Uh, but yeah, I like the really narrow pouch, uh, this narrow version of the pouch. So for all your bars and stuff like that, it's pretty comfy, can fit a pretty reasonable size bar. Let's check out the B2 Bomber, just because that's a larger spinner. Look at that, boom. Like it was made to fit, beautiful. So um, good for just about any any big old bar. Uh, maybe not a super, super wide bar, but most bars I don't think would have an issue fitting in here. Um, this is actually relatively wide, in there no problem. This is kind of wide, in there no problem. So yeah, I think we're good to go. Anywho, let's get on to the spinner itself. Actually, before we do, I've been waiting to open these up because he sent me some little candies in here. And I know they're not just for me. I know he sent some other people um, some of the candies. Thank you once again, Tim. Have fun. I will. I have. Um, let's pop into these. Herbal Chews, Loquat, and Mint. Uh, mint and Loquat, I don't know what that is. But let's get into them. Let's, let's see what we got going on here. It's a nice little package for some little, some little chews. Oh, nice. So it doesn't really have like a mint flavor. The mint is very cool. Like you get that cool feeling in your mouth. Oh wow. Maybe a little bit of mint. It's kind of fruity. I'm trying to place that. I've definitely tasted that before. It's almost got like a menthol kind of like coolness. Makes sense. Mm. I'm not gonna keep chewing on those because it's gonna make me all <laughs> Which nobody wants to hear. But we can maybe set those in frame a little bit. Good, good. That might help with the white balance a little too. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Sage. Fine stone wash sage, number 50. Take the cards. Certificates of authenticity. Uh, it was packaged a little better in here than what you just saw. I just have already dis uh, discarded the actual packaging. Let's take a peek in here. So we got a couple things going on. I haven't even looked, but we know that our quiet hands logo is going to be on the top of the rag. Or uh, I guess I don't really want to call it a rag, a little microfiber cloth. Sticker, sticker. Chicken dinner. Oh, of course, on quiet hands right there. Da -da -da -da. Spare bearing. This is the Jupiter bearing. I just looked it up on their site because I wasn't sure. A uh, little nylon cage bearing. And then I'm going to set this aside because I've been using these for little things. Um, random carry things. So... Um, and then, um, yeah, then we got the spinner itself. So let's get into it. Three, four minutes in. Some people are going to kill me. because oh, I see comments here once in a while. It's like, four minutes in before you talk about the spinner. Um, get on with it. So we're getting on with it. Ooh. Ooh. Now this thing is good. First, let's talk about the stone wash finish. Um, now, I am a person that I think there's, well, there's more than two kinds of people. Um, but of the kinds of people out there, I feel like there are people that you know, are very critical of themselves and maybe don't give themselves enough credit. Um, and then there are people that are sort of like toot their own horns and like, I'm the best thing ever. Um, and after seeing his stonewash here, which I absolutely love, I realized it's actually not far off the stonewashing that I do, which I didn't really think was all that special. Um, but I do look at, look, look at the finish on these two. You know, if we take another example, So 
I feel a little more proud of my stone washing because I was like, yeah, it's okay. But I was a little critical of it. But after seeing like all the work Tom does and how awesome his is to see how close mine is to that makes me kind of, made me kind of happy. So let's talk about the spinner itself though. So the body of this spinner, it's actually a pretty small spinner. It reminds me a lot of, you ready for this internet? Look at that. So it's actually a little shorter than this, about as wide. And it feels a lot like a Grave Raven, um, which if you know me is some high praise. So um, we've got a pretty thick body out here uh, and then pretty narrow inside because it is a press fit or um, not a retention ring. So slip fit with some glue, I think. Um, but let's talk about the spin itself because that's what we're really here for. Um, because it's got this little taper to it, it really allows for some really good preload flex. You can get your hands on here. You can really spin this thing with authority. Um, the fine stone wash finish on it is super smooth, super satisfying to hold in your hand. doesn't quite have that polished feel, um, but doesn't have anything anywhere near like a bead blasted or a machine finish or anything like that. Um, it's a really, really buttery kind of feeling. Um, but it also allows for a little bit of grip, um, which again, especially in this time of year, actually in Vermont, it's we've barely been hitting 60 degrees. It's been um, mid to low 50s a lot, uh, but still not enough where the fingers are super dry. Like I can get a little bit of like, get a little bit of grip on there. So it gets really good preloaded flicks. Um, so preloaded flicks have been great with this guy. Um, but also so have the slow fidgets. I've been really enjoying the slow fidget. The bearing that's in here is a caged uh, stainless steel bearing. Um, out of the box, I didn't spin test it, but I've been spinning it pretty heavy for about a week or so. Um, EDC carrying it every day. So I got a little uh, little time under the belt with this one. And you see that bar being a bar? You know, you kind of just like, <clears throat> then you get it. Um, yeah, but I've been sp spinning this a lot. And when I did my first spin test after about a week of use, I got four minutes and 52 seconds. Not too bad. Gave it the old good clean with dish soap and it only went up to about 530, which is probably pretty good for a stainless steel spinner that's this size. You know, it's got low mass here in the middle because it's thin and it's a press fit, so it doesn't have all that extra material for a retention ring. Uh, but it does taper down quite a bit. Uh, maybe not quite a bit, but it definitely has a ta uh, downward taper to it. Look at that. Probably need to cut my nails, sorry, internet. Like really good on, on the preloaded flicks. There was Barbie and Bar again, Bar Bar. But it's not super heavy, feels fast. It really gets rocking and rolling. Uh, let's talk about these buttons for a second as well, can we? So the buttons have this slight concave at the bottom of them here, um, which you would think you wouldn't really feel, but you can definitely tell that it's there, especially when you're doing these kind of spins. It just has a little extra roundness and smoothness. And the button is also a little larger than the body of the spinner, so it can, which is kind of fun. I don't know if you saw a video, if you follow me on Facebook, I post a little video where I set it down on my desk and it rolls this way and then rolls back a little bit because in my desk, there's just a low spot in the middle from all the weight of the computers and monitors and stuff like that. It's not a ton of weight and it's just, or maybe the desk is just warped. I don't know. Um, and it's not bad. You can't really tell looking at it, but it was funny that this showed it off. So really, really good spinner. Good with the, with the two-handed four spins. Um, the judder isn't too wild, but it's got, uh, uh, you know, a little bit because it's a smaller spinner. Uh, but it has a nice little bit of feedback. Balance on it is great. Oh, I don't know if you heard that. It was my, my tummy. I don't know why my tummy's making noise. But it feels dead smooth. Um, but these buttons, let's talk about these buttons, because these buttons need a little bit of shout out. Um, so I'm a huge fan of the... Uh, where you at, buttons? Where you at? Oh, right here. Uh, the, here I am looking through all my spinners trying to find my atrium. Here we go. Sorry about that. Um, so these are the, um, are these the cupolas or the canopies? I can't even remember now. I used to really know the difference, uh, but I really liked, I like the baked kind of flat dish buttons. Um, those were probably my favorites. I did not mind these so much. You still got a nice little dish in the middle. Oh, I forget how good the spinner is. Every time I take it out, I'm reminded. Um, uh, it's got a nice little dish in there. And then the attic had these little echo buttons, uh, which were pretty interesting. I find this button here is a great mix of what the echo offers, but with something like this. So essentially what you've got is sort of a series of steps, like it tapers down in, and it's got a little bit of a curve to it. See that? So it really hugs your finger really well. So you can feel the step a little bit, but it actually feels pretty smooth between these two steps. Like you don't really feel this ridge right here, but in here you get this little like, it just feels like it wants to lock in. Um, and the buttons are relatively tall, 
but because it's press fit and it sinks so far down in the middle, you really feel like you're grabbing onto that spinner and that's something you really can only get with a press fit. You can, the closer your fingers are together, I really like that. So I like, I like deep dishes. You guys know I like a deep, a deep dish, right? Some of my favorite buttons from Woosa are the, I don't know if they name their buttons, but yeah. So really, really good. Um, really, really pleased with this spinner, if you couldn't tell been really digging this so this is a keeper a couple people posted online eh, if you're gonna sell it, let me know um and generally as a rule i don't sell spinners that i'm given to review and i was given this to review full disclosure um generally as a rule i don't sell spinners that i'm given i would only use them in like a giveaway or give away to a friend or something like that um you know someone less fortunate that doesn't have a spinner someone get someone into the scene into the club as it were but um, yeah, so this is this is definitely a keeper. This is a permanent collection piece. I don't know, you know, if I haven't ranked in a while, I don't know where this would go if I ranked it. Um, you know, the, the the top spots in the top 10 are pretty tight. I don't know if it would make it up quite that high, but it's definitely a world-class spinner that I would recommend. Um, and when I take it apart and I look at the finishing too and the machining on this, especially in like the stonewashed version where you kind of see it just round out some of these curves, but you can just see the attention to detail in the machining. Um, and even these corners, just looking at them, really remind me of the Grave Raven. Let's pull that back out. All right, see what I'm saying? Those nice little curves in there. It just has a nice look to it, a nice feel. It's a nice one just to hold in your hand. It's not very uh, intrusive. It's not really large in the pocket or anything like that. Um, it is a great one for a carry, especially with that nice little panda pouch. That looks cool. So huge fan of this. I feel like I'm rambling at this point. I'm not sure what else to say um, other than um, keep an eye out. Um, they did a drop on this. It sold out as is usually the case. There might be a couple different materials in there. The stainless steel, I'm pretty sure is out. Um, it's worth checking out their site from time to time and definitely follow them on Facebook. Um, that's probably the best place to get the news for the, for the drops and stuff like that. Um, but if not, um, just keep an eye on their website because when he does drops, there's usually like links and announcements and stuff like that. Um, so you can kind of get a bit of a countdown. So even if you're not in the Facebook, you know, just uh, stay alert to them. They might have a newsletter you can sign up for. I definitely get alerts in my email like when there's drops coming. So, but uh, yeah, there you have it, Internet. The Sage. Beautiful, beautiful spinner. Looking forward to seeing what happens with the old pavilion and the uh, abacus, especially the abacus. The pavilion is one I kind of came up with a name for, and I think he already had the name picked out for it, but I randomly happened to pick that as what I wanted to name the original panda pouch. I know I've said that before, but um, as much as I, you know, I'm drawn to that one for the name, that abacus spinner with those flat buttons, Tom, please do the flat buttons on the abacus. Um, everybody that wants the echo buttons on the abacus, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, but anyway, there you have it, internet. The Sage by Unquiet Hands. It's a two thumbs upper. You knew that though, right? Kisses, internet.